start. Okay, today we will try out the off heading alarm on Yokogawa Autopilot PT500. So this autopilot has two alarms, off course alarm and off heading alarm. Off course alarm only works when we have GPS input of course over ground. So this ship, this equipment does not have the feed from GPS, so we can only test the off heading alarm. So today to test the off heading alarm, we have the ship's heading presently on autopilot on 280. So first thing we will reduce is the ship's rudder limit. So we will set the rudder limit to minimum value that is 2 degrees. The next thing we will do is go to adjust mode and go to off heading alarm. This is adjust mode 2 off heading alarm. So here we will go enter and we will reduce the limit value. So we will reduce the limit value to minimum that is 2 degrees and we will also reduce the time limit. So enter for 2 seconds and we are now set. So if the heading of the ship is deviating by 2 degrees for more than 2 seconds then the off heading alarm will come. So right now we are on 280. We will see if the ship's heading goes more than 2 degrees in uh, uh, 2 seconds then this alarm should activate. So presently the ship's heading is 281 and ship is giving uh, 2 degrees to starboard. So we will just deviate the ship's heading so that the uh, ship starts to turn and then we will set the new heading as the 282 as the test heading. So right now our heading is 280. We have put the autopilot heading at 282. So when the ship comes at 282, she should maintain that heading within 2 degrees for more than 2 seconds. If not, the alarm will come. So let's see. Okay, the set heading is 282 and now the autopilot is already on 283.7 and if she goes to 284 then the alarm should come the off heading now the off heading alarm has come so we have to just acknowledge the alarm and that's it so you're done so if the ship's heading now is 284 and the autopilot heading was 282 there was a difference of more than 2 degrees for more than 2 setting uh, 2 seconds which we had set so that is why the alarm came so now we will reset the rudder limit and the off settings back to normal so first we go to rudder limit we just set it back to 10 degrees what we had set earlier and then we go to the off heading alarm and we go to enter, we set this to 10 degrees and we go to the time limit and set the time limit back to our normal setting and that's it, we're done.